Kenya's Ati River Mining posted a 23% rise in first half pre-tax profit to 636 million shillings as it increased cement production. The group expects product demand to remain strong in the second half and is implementing plans to combat the depreciation of the local currency, the effects of drought and rising input costs. Ati also plans to establish a market in South Sudan and for more on these numbers now we're joined by Surendra Bhatia. He's Deputy Managing Director at Ati River Mining. Thanks so much. Surendra for joining us this afternoon. Well, quite a stellar set of numbers that have been released this morning. A pre-tax profit up 23%, turnover rising 30%, with earnings per share up 27%, and that on the back of rising demand for cement in the area. Run us through this first half that was for the company. Well, uh, as you're aware, in the year 2010, we had invested into increasing our cement capacity in the country. We had put up two new plants. We had doubled the capacity at our clinker plant in Keloleni, and we had put up a new unit at Athi River. Now, 2011 was the year in which we had to actualize the two capacities. That's exactly what the company has done in the first six months. Our cement volumes are up significantly, and therefore the company's turnover up 30%, Profit after tax yeah. up 27 percent. So the company better able to cater to that rising demand that's out there but it also implies that you're having to fend off rising costs and that one factor to consider. So let's take a look at some of your enhanced operational efficiencies because that's certainly something that's come to bear when you're reporting turnover up 30 percent. Well uh you know, there has been inflash, uh, inflationary pressures in the country. The electricity costs have gone up. The fuel costs have gone up. But we have been helped by the fact that our volumes have gone up significantly, mm -hmm. as a result of which we have been able to bring in operational efficiencies. The overheads at the plant have remained the same, whereas our volumes have increased more than 30 percent. Now, the operational efficiency, efficiencies, therefore, have been able to balance the increased cost which we have seen in the first six months. Overall, our gross margins are the same. Uh, if you analyze our results, you will see that our gross margins still stand at 37%, which is the same as the last year over the same period. Gross margins staying the same for now. Let's assess that situation and how you see you know, the outlook shifting as we move forward because this within a very competitive uh, landscape where we've got new companies to contend with, Mombasa Cement and National Cement coming in as two pretty aggressive players within the Kenyan market. Well, that's true. Uh, the, uh, uh, the competition is setting in. We have got new competitors coming in. But Athi River's model uh, has been able to sustain the competition over the last two years. I mean, Mombasa Cement came in two years ago. National Cement came in last year. And in both these years, we have been able to increase our market presence. Now, going forward, we expect the prices to be stable. The prices of cement have been stable in Kenya for the last three months. Going forward, we expect the prices to be stable. We have an advantage over the other two manufacturers in the sense that we manufacture our own clinker, whereas our competition is de uh, dependent on imported clinker. That gives us a significant cost advantage over the other player. That's our strength. That's what we have been doing and saying that our strength is clinker. We will manufacture clinker cheaper than importing it. Enough of a strength then to uh, put you in good stead and hold you over and above some of the cheaper Chinese imports uh, that uh, have been posing a challenge to the industry as well? Absolutely. Uh, you know, it, uh, China, the energy costs are cheaper. You can manufacture clinker cheaper. But by the time you bring it here and by the time you get it into the market, it's probably uh, a little more expensive than Athi River Mining. Now, Athi River Mining's advantage comes of in the sense that we control the entire value chain in Kenya. Mm -hmm. We start from limestone mining, we produce clinker, we convert it into cement, and that gives us the edge over the imported cement also. Nevertheless, we've got uh, the business group uh, you know, pushing for further reduction of uh, duties on those Chinese imports. We've got the Chinese uh, you know, uh, players themselves saying that uh, they would like uh, tariffs to, uh, you know, to be uh, maintained at these low tariff uh, rates. How do you see that scenario playing out? Well, at the present moment, the tariff is 25%. And this is tariff is not a protective barrier, but it creates a level playing field between us and the other countries. Now, in Kenya, we do not have power. We are dependent on 
uh, energy, for fuel, for coal, for everything from outside sources. Our energy costs, therefore, are significantly mm -hmm. higher than what is available, say, for example, in China or in South Africa or in Egypt. Now, this protection only creates a level playing field in terms of energy costs between us and the other countries. I expect that these tariff barriers would be in place to ensure that the local manufacturers are not put at a disadvantage vis-a-vis -vis the imported uh, uh, manufacturers.